I've been with Def Jam, um, I say like technic technically as a Def Jam employee, five years, but I've been with Def Jam probably 10 uh, because I was with Rockefeller Records, you know, I still am, rock for life, right? How I ended up with Rockefeller was, we were doing promotion with Super Mario and Mario had landed the Bad Boy account. So, you know, we're good, we're in heaven. We had Bad Boy, Biggie's coming out, Total's coming out, you know, Total's out, everybody, is, the label's on fire. And um, I had always watched this guy, uh, Jay, you know, who was doing like records with Big Daddy Kane. Jay dropped this single called In My Lifetime. And you know, it was like an independent single. And um, a friend of mine was doing radio promotion for Jay-Z. Like he was an independent radio promoter and he was working the record for them. And he was like, yo, you know, I need y'all to do what y'all do for everybody else. For Jay and these guys, I'm working for this guy, Jay-Z, got a new song. And the thing is Jay and Damon and them, they didn't really let us in the door because they were like, we're not letting these guys promote for us. These guys promote for Bad Boy and everybody else. Like, you know, like we don't, we don't need y'all. And we just kept pushing and pushing. What we did was we found out everywhere that Jay was gonna be, in town or out of town. If he had a show in DC, we would go there. We'd make our own Jay-Z stickers, make everything, or we'll get stuff from my friend Ray and be out there, promote it, plaster it up everywhere. And they didn't have a street team. So when they came out and they saw the stuff outside, they were like, who the hell's doing this? Like, we're not paying nobody. And we would just be there on our own dime, you know, out of our own pocket, traveling. And little by little, we did that and proved to them that, you know, we want to be down with this team. Um, I quit the bad boy thing and everybody thought I was nuts. I was like, you're crazy, you leaving bad boy to go to some new place called Rockefeller? Like, are you nuts? Like, this is Biggie, this is Total, this is Craig Mack, this is Puff, you know? And then from there, the transition from Rockefeller to Def Jam was easy, like I said, because we were signed to Def Jam. And, you know, I, I, I made sure I made a marriage with everybody in the Def Jam system, from Lior Cohen, you know, the president, top, you know, CEO, Kevin Lyles, all the way down to the interns. Bill, I wanted to go somewhere brand new and help build a new bad boy. And I really felt in my heart that Rockefeller was going to be that, or, you know, or something close to it. And I went and that's how the Rockefeller thing started.